Hello, Akron fans! This is Shadow Fury 33 bringing you a 2 vs 2 match of Akron. This time on Luna Procule, brand new map by King John VI. And here we have playing Pickley in the top left corner, playing Red. I'm not sure what he's playing yet. Rock Crystal is his teammate, top right corner. And in the bottom, against them, is Elliot N in green, and King John VI in the bottom left corner in blue. So since most of the players were going for a perfect start, we don't know yet what they're up to, but we'll find out right now. So, right now. Well, we'll find out at least two of them. So, Pickley is going for Vekir, and... Okay, so... Sorry, Pickley is going for Grek, and Rock Crystal is going for Vekir. While at the same time, Elliot N and King John 6 still are paused at the start of the game, have not chosen the races yet. King John 6 has chosen his race, he's also going Grekim. So, it's Grekim and Vekir versus Grekim and Vekir, so it's a rather interesting setup. And it looks like, at this point, Pickley going for a fairly... Actually... I'm not sure what he's doing. It looks like he's going for a slight forward base to this regeneration triad, but it's hard to tell. He's further in the past. Just double check. No, he is making a... Okay, so he's making the triad right next to his base. He's got his, his beginning resource processors at the resources. King John 6 is doing the same thing. We have Pickley building a lot of resource processors, going for a very economic build while sending his test VR out to scout. And at the same time... Sorry, Elliot was doing that. Rock Crystal is also going for an economic build, but he's a bit slower on it. And he's also going for one Q Plasma, while Elliot N was going for six Liquid Crystal. And it's hard to tell if he's going for anything else. So at this point, it looks like... So Pickley is going for a highly economic build. All of his Octos are being used for resource processors. While King John VI is also going for a highly... No, he's going for a mostly economic build. He has one more Octo that looks to be built... Probably for the sake of scouting, but he may be just sending it for partly... Or part of the Triad, to finish off the Triad. And... Here we have Elliot N's scout is just about to get to Rock Crystal, halfway to getting to Rock Crystal. And he's continuing his economic build. So all players are going for fairly economic strategies. And it looks like looks like not much interesting is happening. So I'll just go over this map as it is. So as you can see, both players have main bases that are fairly well stocked with resources, with a small natural in between them and small tiny little expansion on the side. There are island expansions right outside of each base. But, of course, you have to teleport or get a transport unit to get up there. There are also some middle expansions with a lot of Q-plasma. And also a bunch of expansions over to the side as well with plenty of resources. So, the map really encourages expansion towards the middle. And also slightly encourages the use of transports and teleporters, which aren't used enough, really. So, it looks like at this point in time, Elliot is just about to scout out Rock Crystal. And we'll find out that he's playing... Both players will find out that they're each playing Vekir. At the same time, it looks like... Pickley actually is focusing very far in the past. I'm not sure what exactly he's up to. Seems to be continuing to go for economic builds, going for a bit more Q plasma than anything. He has an Octo here, setting up probably for this for setting up the Progen tribe, but at the same time, his Faro is deprogenerated, so it's hard to tell. It looks like Oh, actually, it looks like he's doing something else. He's actually paused. Okay, so he's deprogenerated his Faro, and he's sending his Octo, looks like also part of the Progen tribe. Maybe the Faro deprogeneration was a mistake. Yeah, because the Faro is set up here as well, so it's kind of hard to tell if he's trying to use the Faro to attack or to turn into a building or something. No, it looks like that was something a mistake. So he is going for straight progeneration and building a Seppi, so he'll be getting tech soon, I would imagine. Seppis are necessary for reefs. Reefs are the main tech building of Grekim. King John VI at the same time, actually building Octopod fairly early. This isn't unusual for him, but it's still a fairly aggressive strategy, although he still has a very strong economy to do it. And it looks like this point... We have Pickley. Whoa! I mean, Elliot is going for what considerably economic strategy. Pickley had just jumped away from where he was and he's come back. He's also going for an octopod. He may have seen an King John Six may have attacked in the future, and he may have seen it, so he might be going for an octopod for defense. And the reef is being built, so that will be really useful. So Pickley has a slight tech advantage. Same time, his ally Rock Crystal is building a foundation, likely for a depot. And it looks like ah, oh, there's a small fight going on. Oh, where is it going on? Ah, right, here we are. King John 6 has attacked with an Octo. The Octopod will make sure it work of it, as well as the Octo. So, at this point, all players are still pretty defensive. They're not attacking very strongly. They're just sending small scout attacks to figure out what other players are up to and what races they are. And it looks like most players are just going for highly economic strategies. Nothing too out of the ordinary. And here we have Rock Crystal. He's actually building another foundation. He hasn't built a depot on this foundation yet. And Pickley has gotten advanced structures, so he's going to be getting advanced structures, and from here he can easily get a Spire, which he can use to get some air units, which will be very useful. 
At this point, I believe that Pickley is actually ahead in the tech game, but it's hard to tell. King John 6 has also built a reef and is slightly further in the past. And it looks like King John 6 has advanced structures as well, so both Pickley and King John 6 are going for heavy technology. Looks like King John 6 will be finished last, though. Pickley did get his advanced structures sooner, and he will he has a Faro coming up, so the Faro will be able to build a Spire very soon. So at this point, Pickley will have a small advantage on air units. And it looks like at the same time... Wow, Rock Crystal's building a lot of foundations. He's just getting set up. I guess he maybe he's expecting an attack and needs to have units to be healed by the foundations, but I'm not sure. He should be building depots from this fairly soon. So it might be missing something that's going on further in the future. And here we have Faro coming in. So the Faro is building a spire. So at this point, King John Sixth getting more focused on expansions. He does have a Faro as well, so both players are getting spire pretty much at the same time. Actually, you know what? No, never mind. The spire for wow, spire for Pickley is coming up a lot sooner. He's also building up a dome. As Octopods attack, so Octopods from Kingdom 6 are attacking with Octos. The Octo is also building up a dome, but it may be taking a little while. And it looks like Pickley will hold this off, though. The Octopod and the dome both doing a lot of damage, so this Octopod of Kingdom 6 will not last long at all. It's. Yes, yeah, so this Octopod has been completely destroyed. And that is that. So, Kingdom 6 attack has been thwarted, but really that was just a scouting attack. He's got his Spire set up, and Spire of Pickley is also set up, so now both players know that they have Spires. At the same time, here we are. So we have Rock Crystal has built a depot and he has built a bastion, so he does have a lot of defensive structures as well. So, like I said, all the players going for a very defensive posture. No one's really expanded towards the middle. And whoa! Elliot N's going for a slipgate. Okay, this is gonna be very interesting. It looks like Elliot N is going for a slipgate and a depot. It looks like he might actually. I'm not sure if he's trying to set up himself or he's trying to set up his ally. Because Grecum, Grecum's gate tech is a lot more expensive than Vecchio or Ciso, so he might be setting up King John VI so that King John VI can either chronoport or teleport his units without having to get gate tech himself. At the same time, Elliot is harassing with a Zion Tercher going around the back of Rock Crystal's base. Rock Crystal doesn't seem to have countered it yet, but he is playing further into the future. He does have another foundation going in the back. The Bastion cannot see it. It's too far away. And it looks like he doesn't have any other units coming in to defend against. That was rather odd. At the same time, it looks like... Pickley hasn't really been attacked much. He's continuing his defensive posture. And here are two Farpods coming in from Kingdom 6, coming in to attack Pickley. And it looks like just Kingdom 6 seems to be going for a very straight attack right now. He doesn't seem to be going to use this Slipgate anytime soon, but I'm not sure. Like I said, it's quite possible he sent at least some of the units back with the Slipgate, so it's hard to tell. But at this point, it looks like it's just a direct attack. The Farpods are coming in. And the domes are able to see, are able to see them, so they're making sure work of one of the domes. But one of the farpods has been destroyed, so the domes are dealing a lot of damage, defending very well. I'm not sure if Elliot or Pickle, I should say, is going back. Is actually going to be using the long range beam on the dome to deal more damage to the farpods. The farpods have been destroyed. They killed one of the domes, but the other dome has left. And another farpods coming in here to finish off this one dome. And now at this point, the dome is finished off. So Pickley, just curious if Pickley has done anything. No, he has not. Pickley has not used the dome's long range beam. And the Zion Tercher in Rock Crystal Space is continuing to attack. The ba neither the Bastions can see it, it looks, or at least neither the Bastions can attack it. it. Looks like no, they can't. The Zion Tercher or the Zion Pulsers here would have been able to attack it much sooner if they could. So it looks like the Zion Tercher ha still has free reign. Farpods also have free reign over the base. Actually, no, they don't. The Sepipod. So the Sepipod can scout them out and has pretty much destroyed them. And so it looks like yes, here we are. So the Sepipod has destroyed the Farpods. Farpods. It looks like King John the Six with his Farpods further in the past. He. Doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot with the Farpods. He's trying to attack one of the Octos being built, but it doesn't look like it's going to work. The Octo will be able to get out, so the Octo will be able to rebuild the domes or do whatever. It's getting healed up pretty quickly, so Pickley has managed to defend, and looks like Eliodan is continuing to attack quite well with these Zion Turchers. Farpod as well, but the Farpod is getting attacked by the Bastion. But as, as Rock Crystal does not have anything other than Bastions to defend against air units right now, the Zion Pulsers cannot hit air. So it looks like. Oh, and Elliot is coming in with the Tethvir, but it's kind of a cute little attack, but not going to really do too much. Just a small scouting attack. So it looked like both players... Not really, it looks like Rock Crystal's getting hit really hard. Pickley's able to defend himself quite well, but Rock Crystal's defenses... Ah, here we are. He's finally managed to get through. It looks like the Zion Tercher ran out of cloaking energy and has now been destroyed. So at this point, all the attacks have been thwarted, and it doesn't look like... Like I said, no one's really expanding. Elliot N is trying to attack... Oh, actually, he's trying to attack Pickley. So Pickley's not getting attacked. He still didn't have any domes up. He does have a Sepipod though, which will be able to scout out the Zion Tercher, and at this point is going to try to attack this Octo, because Octo should be able to deal a fair amount of damage before it goes down. However, the real threat is the Sepipod here, because the Sepipod can deal a lot of damage. Actually, no, no, the Octo! The Octo! Oh right, the Octos have been buffed in the last version, and it really shows. The Zion Tercher is getting completely destroyed. The Octo has actually gone and destroyed the Zion Tercher, 
who is attacking the resource processor, so no wonder. But yeah, so finally the Zion, Zion Veer is attacking the Octo, but the Zion Trencher has been destroyed, and it's too far in the past for anyone to really change anything. So at this point, Pickley is finally getting his air units, or I should say, King John VI has been building up more Farapods, he's going to be sending them back in the past. It looks like Pickley might be doing something as well further in the past. I'm not sure though. I don't think he has Gate Tech yet or Chrono Porting yet, but it looks like he's just double checking to make sure nothing is going on. King John VI doesn't seem to have Chrono Ported anything into the past. They're just checking to make sure nothing's gone on. So at this point, nothing, no shenanigans have been going on with the Chrono Porter, which is kind of odd. Like I said, I half expected that the Slipgate would be used or that King John VI would try to use it, but as it is, he hasn't used it. So none of the players have to worry about Chrono Porting quite yet, except anyone who Elliot N decides to attack. And it looks like, also, the Annex is upgrading Weaponry, so, okay, this is interesting. It looks like Rock Crystal is planning, either planning on getting an Inceptor, or he has Gate Tech already, so he might be planning on getting an Inceptor, or just trying to upgrade his own Weaponry. Oddly enough, he hasn't built any air units yet, which may help, although this map, it's not too air favorite. So, he does need anti-air, but he has firm on anti-ground as well, so... This just doesn't have much beyond the Pulsar class, which is kind of odd. The Pulsar class is very low-tech, and the higher-tech units have been made cheaper this version, so he's not building them, which is rather strange. And it looks like Pickley is going for a counterattack with the Farapod. The Farapod is coming in here, going to start going around the back to harass the resource processors. A Save Pod is coming up as well, and there are domes. There's a dome over in the corner, and Save Pod has completed, so at this point, the Farapod is trying to attack the Save Pod. The Save Pod can't do too much. And... Looks like there isn't anything going on, really. Rock Crystal's trying to build up a ton of foundations to help heal up. Surprisingly, though, he has not built up much in the way of really anything other than... Okay, so anything other than the foundations, he's built very little. He has the complete set he needs for Aryans or any units, really, if he has Halkin class. But he doesn't really have much else, so it looks like... How many resources does he have? Given the power count, I'd say he's player four. He doesn't have a lot of resources. He's using a lot of them on the foundations, and I don't know if he's preparing for something or what, but he really hasn't built much. Elliot going out to expand, actually. He's been expanding around this entire map, so Elliot has a fairly good resource advantage, or should, at least. And, yes, he does. He actually has the Halakin class out. He doesn't have as many foundations, but he doesn't need the healing right now, either. He has Shin Halakin coming out. Probably has more coming out further into the future. Probably going to be actually... I'm just going to double-check. Thinking he might actually be sending units into the past. It looks like... Oh, wow, actually, whoa, okay, never mind. Pickley has actually sent, yeah, he fired off a skip, tele or a skip torpedo into the base of Pickley. Pickley's base has been destroyed further into the future, so Pickley's going to have to watch out for this while at the same time. So Pickley is attacking, is getting attacked in the future. Elliot is doing a lot of damage in the future, and it looks like Rock Crystal does have a fair amount of units prepared now, but Elliot is doing really well. He's pushing ahead very well. He's got a lot of expansions coming up. It looks like Kingdom 6 has also focused on the past, but it looks like he's just doing it to double check what's going on. He still hasn't. He doesn't seem to have Chrono Porter at all. It looks like all of his units have been just attacking straight normally. And at this point, Rock Crystal does have the Halkyons we saw before. So Rock Crystal does have his tech up now, but it's just surprising he hasn't really used it much. And here, here's the attack we were seeing before coming in with the Shin Halkyons. And as. Was there a Chrono Porter going on? I thought there was, but it looks like maybe there wasn't. So. Oh, right. It wasn't the Chrono Porter. It was a skip, to, was a skip torpedo coming in. That will be coming soon. I'm not sure if Pickley's going to be building up to try to defend against that. It's very difficult to defend against this. And here we are. So the skip torpedo is coming in. It is taking a little bit of time because it does have to teleport most of the time when it gets through. And it's going to be coming in very quickly. Or rather, it pauses after it teleports. And it's going to start hitting right about now. So Pickley's base has been largely destroyed. He lost his entire triad. He has a fair amount of resources left, but he doesn't have a whole lot... To build with at this point. He has to build everything from the Arcus again, or he has to go into the future try to... Well, he can't really go into the past to move things around, so he's going to go into the future and try to save himself. And it looks like King Jones 6 hasn't done much. Still just looking back in the past. He hasn't sent anything back in the past. I'm really surprised. I I really expected King Jones 6 to send some Chrono Porting right now, but it looks like it doesn't matter. Elliot Dent's attack is doing a lot to Rock Crystal. Pickley has taken a huge amount of damage from that skip torpedo, and it doesn't look like he's rebuilding much anytime soon. He seems to be trying to no, he's not building around the time web. He is just going to be building, trying to generate units from the Arcticus as much as he can, but he has been crippled. So at this point, it's just Rock Crystal versus the world, and he's not doing that well, I don't think. He does have a lot of foundation, so he is able to defend himself, and he is able to repel enemy units, but still, he is taking a lot of damage, or can be taking a lot of damage. It's really a matter 
whether or not Eliadin attacks or when Eliadin attacks and with how much. So at this point, it really doesn't look like much is going on. And yeah, here we are. Here's the skip torpedo that we saw before. Actually, no, another skip torpedo. It looks like it's not a second skip torpedo or change the direction of skip torpedo to Rock Crystal's base. So Rock Crystal is getting attacked heavily in the unplayable past, but that's not enough to destroy anything really meaningful. And at the same time, it looks like that was actually a total change to the attack. So it looks like Piggly has actually changed the attack. Either that or sk send out a skip, tele skip torpedo, but it doesn't look like no. The skip torpedo has gone entirely to Rock Crystal's base. So Rock Crystal is getting heavily attacked by this. But like I said, it doesn't affect him too much. He does have enough in there that it didn't deal him a lot of damage. And all his units got dealed afterwards that were damaged. So at this point, it looks like Rock Crystal is preparing for an attack, but it's hard to tell. King John 6 keeps jump skipping back to the past, but I can't see what he's doing there besides just skipping back to the past to check out what's going on. It looks like he's... Maybe he's trying to figure out when to chronoport, but at this point he hasn't done any chronoporting yet. I don't think he even has chronoporting. He has plenty of resources to get chronoporting, but he doesn't have it yet. He's player one, by the way. So he has 1,000 liquid crystal and 96 Q plasma. Admittedly, the Q plasma is a bit of a bottleneck, but still, I'm quite surprised he hasn't done any chronoporting yet, either through himself or through Elliot. Elliot has sent another skip torpedo. Wow, another one coming in for rock crystal. So. A lot of skip torpedoes coming in. Holy crap. Okay, so this skip torpedo was not shut down. It actually dealt a lot of damage, hit a lot of the main units, but it didn't kill anything ultimately. Wow, the Vecchio bases are really resilient to this stuff. So it looks like the skip torpedo really hasn't done much. And Pinkley is still rather crippled. He's sent off. He has his progen pair. Soon to be a triad, sure, but he sent them off to the side so they aren't getting attacked quite as directly by skip torpedoes. And he might want to create another causally independent one. And it looks like the South team has really pushed ahead. King John VI is now setting up just an army. He hasn't attacked much recently, but he is setting up expansions as well. And the North players are just trying to defend, keep themselves alive, but they haven't really done much. And all the players have a lot of resources, surprisingly enough. And it looks like Elliot N. I'm guessing this is Elliot N. Chronoporting back because... Okay, is this... No, this doesn't look like interesting how it came from the future. So Elliot N., I'm not sure if he's chronoported or what, but it doesn't look like he's actually done too much. No, he is. he has chronoported, so he must have chronoported that... Let's see, he must have chronoported a Shin Halkion back in the past. Upgrading skin tel skip teleport on these two units, and he'll probably be sending them back into the past very soon. Okay, there we go. So he's sending them both into the past, and it looks like they'll be dealing quite a bit of damage once they get in. They're teleporting into... Oh yeah, teleporting into Rock Crystal's base, so Rock Crystal's going to be dealing, taking a lot of damage. Zion Halkions are getting hit quite a bit, though. The Bastions are doing a lot against them, but it's not enough. There's the, another Tethalkian here, but the Tethalkian has been calm jammed, so it can't be commanded to do anything. And however, it doesn't need to be. It's going to be able to take care of these Shin, this Shin Halkian quite quickly. Bastion as well, helping out with that. Two Zion Churches coming in, as, or Zion Churches and a Tethalkian are coming in, dealing a lot of damage. Zion Halkian has been destroyed, but a Sightbot coming in as well to help support against the Arianus. Tethalkian should be able to damage it, but this is still the unplayable pass, so it's not going to be enough. At this point, wow, King John 6 is also attacking, just doing a straight attack, so they must have coordinated it quite well. And actually, no, King John 6 did chronoport back to Sepipod and these far as well, so he has chronoported back his army. So it looks like all the players are chronoporting back their armies. Rock Crystal, I'd be surprised if he hasn't, yet, although it looks like his slipgate was destroyed before he was able to use it. So at this point, Rock Crystal is really hurting. He was attacked very heavily in the unplayable past, and this attack was able to do a lot of damage. Ultimately, he seems to be able to defend against it, but it's still going to be a lot of damage that he has to deal with. At the same time, has Pickley actually been hit again? I'm not sure. It looks like Pickley... I'm going to double check. He... No, this is where he had his pair. So he was still rebuilding. So that took a little while for him to rebuild. And this is where we left off with Rock Crystal and the attack. About 13 minutes into the game. And the Far Pods are getting dealt a lot of damage. But, wow, that was a huge attack. Half of Rock Crystal's foundations were destroyed. That's a lot of... That is... Wow, that is a huge amount of units that could have been built there just down the drain but still the foundations really helped out both with defense and with healing so still that's a lot of damage done and that's a slipgate lost as well he does have a basic set that he needs for his construction though so once this updates into the playable pass he does have more foundations coming up and another skip torpedo has hit he's gonna follow this up so it looks like Elian Elian's really liking these skip torpedoes so he's got another skip torpedo coming in and it looks like at the same time Pickley has actually got his units set up so the skip torpedo is gonna be coming in and dealing a lot of damage right now destroying all these foundations and yes, there we go. So the foundations have been destroyed along with one of the bastions. At this point, also, Pickley is going around trying to do some more attacks. And King Villain 6 is coming to attack Rock Crystal as well. So Pickley has actually rebuilt himself quite well in the meantime. Looks like, though, King Villain 6 might be intending to do some damage. No! Elliot is intending to do some damage to Zion Halkins, but the Octos have been dealing a lot of damage to them. Well, King Villain 6 coming back around with his forces. 
another UPP attack, so another unplayable pass attack, so wow, Piglet's getting attacked very hard in the unplayable pass. All of his units have been comp jammed, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a big deal. It's in the unplayable pass, so we can't command them anyway. While his Farpaws have destroyed Eliadan's base, and it looks like Rock Crystal was eliminated, so Rock Crystal has been destroyed, and that was happening before with the Farpaws here. So, wow, that was a lot of chrono reporting, very powerful. So, Rock Crystal has been defeated. So, at this point, Pickley is fighting on his own, but he's having to fight very hard in the unplayable pass, and he's just watching what's going on. I don't think he even has any units being chrono ported back in the unplayable pass. He's trying to get some resource processors outside of his base, trying to get units outside of his base to deal damage. He has Farpod here attacking this island expansion. He has another Farpods back here that were attacking the expansion of Elliot End. So, Elliot End's expansions were heavily damaged, but he has a lot of resources from it. Elliot End right here is player two. He has plenty of resources, eight, pretty much 900 in both resources. So it looks like at this point, Pickley is trying his best to try to get out of the situation. But at this point, he has been calm jammed everywhere. He can't really do much of anything. He has, wow, even when his progenerator has been calm jammed. So he cannot command any of his units. So, wow, this is hugely effective. Looks like Pickley's going to be surrendering very soon. Elliot and King Jones is coming in with more chrono Port units. And another skip torpedo coming in as well. Oh, this looks like... No, this is a torpedo that came back to hit Rock Crystal, so that's going to hit nothing. But still, Pickley's base has been heavily damaged. Pickley really doesn't have any any way of rebuilding at this point. He has three power pods, and that's it. He might be able to do some damage with them, but I seriously doubt it. He's going to send one of them, or he has sent one of them into Elliot's... No, this is the one that attacked Elliot's expansion in the island. So at this point, it looks like Pickley really doesn't have much of a chance. He's trying, from the looks of it, to build up what he can... But really, once this time, this blue time wave contains his destruction. So it looks like he really doesn't have much of a chance. He has some resource processors and that's a and a couple domes, and that's about it. So Pickley has surrendered. So good job, Kingdom Six and Elliot N. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night.